everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel Ray SMR. I am Ray your negative host of the evening and today we're going to talk we are going to be talking about bookish icks that I have so if you hate negativity gore like it if you like it's not gonna be your place like you're not gonna like it just letting you guys know so I have a list of like I can't even count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Icks that I have. I have to do with books. So we're gonna talk about them. Um, <coughs> the first ick that I have is super long chapters. If the chapter is super long, I'm taking my life. <laughs> <clears throat> not really, but if the chapter is like hella long, I'm not reading it. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that. So yeah, actually, hold on, let me text me really fast. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had to put my phone on D and D because I am not. Oops, I am not repeating last week where I filmed the video. <laughs> twice and it took me an hour each time so basically yeah long chapters i hate them because there's no motivation for me to read the book i hate when books are one big chapter i hate when books i just don't like it like why do you think i want to sit here and read 47 pages straight without feeling like i got a little treat like seeing chapter two after reading chapter one is great you think i'm gonna read chapter one for hundred pages. No. I'm putting the book down. I'm never picking it back up ever. And that's for real. Okay, the next ick I have. <clears throat> Stickers on the cover. Fake or not. Because fake ones are annoying because obviously they can't come off. And they're just on the cover forever and they're ugly. But real stickers, even the darker ones, the darker ones are better because you can peel them off. And the Barnes and Noble 50% off ones are fine because you can peel them off. But like, even when I do peel them off, sometimes it leaves the circle. Like it leaves like the sticker circle, like the residue. Not really residue, but it's just like, it looks like there was a sticker there. And I hate that. Or um, like, a, like a tag, maybe like the Meyer stickers when you buy them from Meyer, how it's like that paper and not the kind of paper that like will come off in one go. The kind of paper that's like gonna rip when I try to take the sticker off, and then it's just gonna like be stuck with a little like random. It's gonna just gonna look dirty. I don't like it. I don't like when the paper doesn't come off all the way. I also don't like it when the backing doesn't come off all the way, and then you just get like dirt build up on your book because the sticky part of the sticker is still sticking. Anyway, <laughs> next thing is the next two have to do with the same book that I had in my mind for the same thing. So the first one is playlists in the beginning of books. I'm all okay with a playlist. I love a playlist moment when the songs are like normal. Not that some songs are bad, but like some songs it's like, I'm not about to listen to Seven Rings of Ariana Grande when I'm reading this like sex scene. Like it's just not happening. Um, and then also cheesy drawings. So like the book Minx. I showed it in my one of my hauls and I talked about it for a second there. But like I opened the book and I was so excited to read it. And I had a playlist, it was like Ariana Grande. It's like okay, random. The next page had this crazy ass picture of like this buff man. And he was like and I was like, I wanna create my own characters. Why are you putting a drawing in here? You're already telling me hair type, eye color, height dick size, I don't, whatever, I, like, how much imagination do I to have, because you're giving me everything, and I don't have room to, I just hate it, because once I see that picture, and I start reading it, and in my head, it's different, then I'm like, this is so stupid, I just, I hate, I hate, period, let me grab a drink of water, really quick, because I'm thirsty, so delicious. Okay, next. This one's very 
straightforward. It's when a book is bad. I don't like when a book is bad because I either spent my money on it or I didn't, which most of the time I don't. But I <laughs> spent my money on it for it to be bad. And I don't like returning books because I like to collect them. So when they're bad, it's just a waste of money. I mean, I, I will return it, but like, I'm always like, maybe I'll read it later. So I never do. Um, or when I start reading it, I just don't finish it. And I waste precious time that could have been dedicated to another book. Because I don't want to DNF anything ever. Because I just... I don't like DNFing stuff. Not that I don't... Not that I don't want to DNF it. Just that I don't like wasting my time. I just want to waste my time. Boom. Next thing is when a book makes me sleepy. Because why am I trying to read and I'm falling asleep? And it's not every book. You, I, there's a certain book that makes me sleepy. Books that are too much exposition thrown in your face. Books that are too descriptive. They're like just too many words. Too dense sentence structure. All of that. All those types of books that just are like... They, it feels like I'm reading a textbook and I'm going to sleep. I don't like books that are... Dense. In like a bad... Well, no, I don't like dense books. That makes me sleepy. This is kind of leads into the next one. When the author is too wordy. The book that's coming to mind for this one is um, Homes Where the Bodies Are by Geneva Rose. Where she was like, um... There's air in my mouth. She didn't say that in the book, but there was air in my mouth. Um, she would be like, it is... I don't even fucking know. It'd just be something stupid. I talked about this in my review for that book, but it was... I hated that book, by the way. Don't read it. Unless you get it for free. Um, but I don't know what that wink was. <laughs> but it, it would be like... He, he grabbed the Auburn... The Auburn fence and walked through the... the hold on, there's a big car. It'd be like, he walked through the Auburn fence and felt the rough, the rough wood splintering through his supple skin as he stepped the, the leaves, the, the orange and brown. No, it, it would say something stupid like, fucking, what's a word that I'm thinking? What's a good word that's annoying? The crimson leaves crunched under his big military combat boot ready for war. Like, just say, he walked through the gate and it was Paul. Just make it simple. Um, yeah. That. <laughs> the next one is whatever Reckless by Lauren Roberts was. Whatever that book was, it was an ick. I hated that book. So I don't know how I finished it. I, like, I should have given it one star. I think I gave it two. Um, but whatever that fucking book was, it was like repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. And I hate when I'm in a fantasy book and it takes me into a different world for the next book. It's completely different vibes. And it's not like the same. It's a different, it's a whole different fucking book. I hate when a series has inconsistency and I hate when something fucking stupid. I don't know why I'm cussing so much. I think I'm sleepy. <laughs> I hate when something stupid is like, Stu I don't like books that are fucking dumb. I don't like it. Like, Reckless annoyed me because it was just the same thing over and over and over and over. Oh my god, we meet again. Oh my god, we have to go run away. Oh my god. Dagger to the throat. Oh my god. I love her. Oh my god. We can't be together. Oh my god. Kiss me. Oh my god. Get away from me. Oh my god. Kill me. Kill me. Stop it. Kill me. Kill me now. Anyway, the next one is the mixed communication trope. Hey. Hey, you guys just talk to each other. Hey, you guys just don't have a conversation. I really don't give a F about this. I missed your phone call today, or we can't, we keep, we keep missing each other, uh, like, uh, <clears throat> no ma'am, no ma'am, I just hate it really bad, um, I hate it in movies, I hate it in shows, I hate it in everything, like, what do you mean, 
what do you mean you accidentally killed her brother? But it, but, well, she thinks you killed your brother, but it wasn't you. But you keep not just fucking saying that when you see each other. This is a random ass. I don't know where this is coming from. But I, like, what do you mean that you, like, blew up her district? But it wasn't you who blew up the district and now she hates you. And then you got, but you're like, why won't she love me? Because she thinks you fucking killed her whole fucking family, bitch. Go tell her that you didn't. We can get that figured out real easy. Thank you. <laughs> Next one is when the slow burn romance is moving at the speed of a snail on a, a snail trying to cross, cross, a snail trying to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, when the romance is like, what do you mean it's the third book in the series and I still haven't kissed? Sorry, I'm putting the book back down. Sorry. Hey, um, sorry, I don't care anymore. I'm done reading this series. I, okay, I just, I just, I hate, I hate, I hate a slow burn that's too slow because it, at, at what point in the book does it make sense for them to still not be together? If I'm reading a book about them being together. What happened to being concise? What happened to just articulating your thoughts? And not pissing me off. Stop teasing me. This is not foreplay. I'm reading a book that I spent money on. Give it to me now. Or at least give it to me, like, within a reasonable amount of time. I also hate... I didn't write this one down. But I also hate when it's, like... When... Okay, I guess it's kind of miscommunication. When one of the love interests, um starts dating somebody and the other guy is like I was just gonna I was just gonna ask you I, I, if you would have given me four more hours I could have I could have asked you to go to prom and, and then this would have happened I don't care it's not happening I don't care on to the next like leave it alone leave it alone and the whole rest of the book they're like okay well I'm sorry now that I'm with this guy but this guy told me he wants me now. I hate my current boyfriend. But I could have been with this. Like, it's just, just break up. Just break up. Please. Another one I didn't write down. I also hate a cheating trope. Just because it's like... Do we have to? I just, I don't really know why we need that. I mean, unless it's like a thriller where it's like, Oh my god, this woman cheated on her husband and her husband killed everybody. That's different, because we have plot there. I hate a meaningless cheat. Because who cares? Like, <laughs> like, who cares? I think that's why I didn't like Magnolia Parks very much, because the whole book was just them. So the, the, this is not a spoiler, but the reason the book started that way, well, it's, it's, the reason the book is, is because the PJ had cheated on Magnolia at the beginning, like, before the book started, and he started, and just like, PJ cheated on me. I'm so mad at him. But the whole fucking book girl is like, he's gonna change. Then the next page, I walk into the bar and he's making out with some redhead. I'm so mad. Then we go into the next, the, the next chapter. BJ kissed me last night. He told me he's gonna change. And then the next chapter is like, I walk into the bar and BJ is kissing this redhead again. <laughs> like, okay, girl. I think he wants that fucking redhead. I hate to be that guy, but I think he wants the redhead mama, like, have some self-respect. I hate books like that. I don't think I added this either. <laughs> one more random one. I don't like books that are, like, um, where the male main character, where it glorifies abuse in any way. I don't like a book that glorifies emotional abuse, physical abuse, domestic abuse, child abuse. None of the abuses, but I'm mainly speaking about the one, like, between partners, mentally, or just, like, men being horrible people, and then the woman being like, oh my god, he's so bad, like, oh my god, he's such a bad boy, I can't believe he loves me, girl, he doesn't love you, hey, um, call on me, call on me, call on me, hey, he doesn't love you, mama, stop it, stop, okay. This list is a small paper bag. I don't like when books are too tiny. Because then I think, because then, oh, that's another one. I'll just say that one next. I don't like small paper bags because why is it tiny? Like, why? Can we figure out how to make it regular? <laughs> 
writing is always so tiny. The writing, I don't like small print. I can't do small print because I feel like I'm going, I'm stupid. Those books also make me sleepy when the print is too tiny. And I also hate, like, classics, the way classics are printed. Like Lolita, if anybody's read Lolita. When the, when the, the line spacing is too tight and the words are too squished and the font is too bold. You know what I'm talking about, like the books we read in um, high school and middle school for like school reading and stuff. I don't like when they're that kind of type. Give me serif or give me death. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't want to do it. If, as soon as, if I buy a book and I open it and the writing is bad, oh, to Anna's archive I go, to my Kobo I go, into the settings I go, picking my own font, making my own margins and line spacing. I will not stand for tiny print. What do you think I am? A magnifying glass. Anyway, the next thing I wrote down was Colleen Hoover. I get the ick from Colleen Hoover and not saying that if you read Colleen Hoover, you're stupid. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, of all the books in the world to read, why is that the one that we're grabbing? We're grabbing, oops, not when I can't speak. Why is the one we're grabbing? I just feel like there's so many things in the world to grab Colleen Hoover. I also just don't believe in... How old is Colleen Hoover? Hold on. You're gonna get some um, book. I mean, some computer typing. Colleen Hoover is 44. And... She has written Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's wrong. Okay, like 26 books it says. I think. Yeah, she's written 26 books. I think that was last year, so I think it's probably like a little higher now. But either way, if someone has been alive for 44 years and has written 26 books, that means that she started writing books when she was, I don't know what 44 minus 26 is, Colleen Hoover would have had to start writing a book a year since the day she turned 18 in order to be writing one book a year. But she hasn't written one book a year. She started writing these books like, I don't know, like 10 years ago. Let's see. Me when I'm, me when I'm Google. Okay. She wrote her first book in 2011, so it's been 12 years. She's written 26 books in 12 years. Two books a year. Writing an entire book, coming up with it, brainstorming, editing it, sending it to the publisher, getting it published, rollouts. Mama, like, that cannot be good. Like, it's just, like, she wrote her, she wrote her first book in 30 days. Anyway, whatever, that's just, I don't, I believe in quantity. No, 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 that's my next ick. <laughs> I believe in quality over quantity. Like with Book Talk and Rebecca Yarrow's and Fourth Wing and Iron Flame and whatever the next one is going to be. I remember how Iron Flame had all of those problems when it came out. People's books were burned upside down. She was using language that she couldn't even explain correctly. Like, it was just, I think also Book Talk is making these to this turnaround for books way worse. Like with Reckless by Lauren Roberts. Powerless. I personally gave Powerless like four and a half or five stars. I loved Powerless. But Reckless I gave it to because they, like, they, they're they expecting people to write books so fast nowadays that it's like, it doesn't make the books aren't good. Like, people are just writing whatever the fuck they want. And at that point, if that's the case, I want to write a book. I want to get paid millions of dollars for something mediocre like it's at this point. Stop writing bad books. Anyway, my next one, I'm also going to add this one in. Colleen Hoover's covers, like that flower, like it's like maybe just all like flowers on covers. I don't like a flower on a cover unless it's like a Gundy flower. Like don't give me something, don't give me just like a flower in text. Give me something good. 
my personal favorite cover is a oil painting <laughs> because they're so good. I'll give you some recommendations for good covers. Dark and Drowning Tide, God of the Woods, Certain Hunger. What else do I got? Um, Mistress of Lies, um, Lucy Undying. That's what I'm looking for here. Um, yeah, just something good. Something creative, something fun. Don't give me run of the mill because I'm pissed off. Okay, the next thing is real people on covers because what do I look like going outside opening a book with a white girl in the front who's like this? Unless it's a biography. Not that I don't want to read about white girls. I love white girls. But... I just, like, at a certain point, all my books are gonna look like they're, like, I'm only reading about white girls, because that's mainly all the books are about. So I just, like, mm -mm, an oil-painted white girl is different, but, like, Bethany from, I don't know, Philadelphia on the cover of my book, don't need that. <laughs> I don't need even, I don't need black girls on the cover either. I don't like any people on the cover. No real people on covers. No fake people on covers. I don't like people unless they're painted. Don't let it be a man. Don't let it be a man on the cover of my book. I will. I will punch you in the face. Anyway. Um, oh, when a book series gets a rebrand, I'm in the middle of it. This happened with Mortal Instruments. I got the first book. Well, I got the second book because I was like, I watched the movie. I don't need to read the first book. I was in middle school, so obviously I wasn't, think I wasn't very smart. But by the time I had gotten, I picked up a series again, the covers had changed. So, City of Bones and City of Ashes and City of, insert name here, are all different covers. <laughs> and the, with our books, Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instruments series, she has like a mural with the spines. So, the books are different, so I don't have the whole mural. The mural's missing like one of the bitches. Anyway, I don't like that. Especially the Magnolia Park series too. The only reason I got the book is because it was pretty. But now I gotta go and get my books from overseas. Granted, I'm not finishing that series, but I have to go get the books from overseas. <sighs> okay. I don't like when the female main character is describing herself as just being so quirky. Like, oh, I'm just so clumsy and such a stupid little girl. Like, please, mama, please. Unless you're being ironic. Because I'll describe myself as that when I'm being annoying and stupid. But I never mean, I'm never meaning it. Um, so that irks me. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Um, weird adjectives. Like what I was saying with Geneva Rose. When a, hold on, let me, let me fix my leg. When a author gets like too flowery with their words and starts using made up ones is what it seems like words that nobody's ever even heard before i will say the ministry of time i didn't read it i was gonna start it but i opened the book and I, there was so many words <laughs> that i didn't know i had to up on google like four times on the first page and i was like and my little ass knows a word i love a word i will always be knowing a word I was the only kid in fourth grade, third grade, third grade who could spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious on the first try, but I know a word. No, that's a word, but I know what a word means and how to pronounce a word. Once you give me like, like just random ass words that don't need to be there, just say pretty. Basically, just say what it is. Please and thank you. <laughs> don't, I'm not, mm -mm, this is not a textbook. Um, like, I'm more, I'm more, I'm, you know, whatever, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> can't even give you guys an example, I don't like sad books, if a book is sad, I will not be there, Bow. and if the book is advertised as happy, but is sad, I'm looking at you tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, I will not be picking it up, there's a reason why I haven't read that book yet, because I picked it up because I was like, oh my god, fun video games, ah, besties, my friend was like, it's so depressing, and I said, now why would I read that? 
diary to escape, not to get more depressed. My antidepressants already are working overtime. <laughs> so yeah, I don't like sad books. I mean, I'll read, I'll read it. But, but that's just like, it feels like I'm doing myself a disservice by like putting myself through misery when books help me escape. I don't like books that are too big and sound like they would be good. Because why would you make a book that's 77,000 pages but has a good synopsis? Because now I want to read it. But I'm never going to. So now I'm just like... <sighs> Whenever I look at that damn book because I want to pick it up. But I'm, I am not ever reading... Like The Lord of the Rings. Sounds great. I'm sorry. Or that one book about JFK that Stephen King wrote. Not happening. Hold on, let me look up JFK, Stephen King, Stephen King. Uh, what is it called? 112263. That book sounds good as hell, but it's 867 pages. Nor, nor mom, nor mom, no happening, no happening. Um, what else we got? Sorry, I'm watching a businessman trying to slide out of a car. Let's see, he's squished. He's like a bigger guy. Just, a, just you know, a, a, just a bulkier man. And he got, his colleague parked him next to this car really close. So he's like trying to squeeze out of the car and he hit the other car's mirror. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't like when books sound good and they're big. Um, I also don't like when I can't pronounce anyone's name in, the, in a fantasy book. Like it's different if you give me names that are real, but giving me fake names that I can't pronounce is just another kind of evil because there's no need to have, for them to have these names, is there? But like the thing is, you can have a few, I'm all for it. Give me a few fun, quirky names, but at least throw like an Abigail in there. Like, give me a Rachel if you're gonna give me a fucking Anamanapia, like, because <laughs> at a certain point, I'm no longer following. Because if I can't remember names, then I'm not going to remember story or what's happening to each character, if I don't care. Um, and that also makes me sleepy, because I'm like, who am I reading about? Because if I can't pronounce the name in my head, and if I Google it, and Google can't pronounce the name either, how do you expect me to know how to say this name? At least give me the phonetics, if you're going to just throw a crazy-ass name in there. Anyway. I don't like when books don't make sense, because that pisses me off. What do you mean I sat here and read this whole fucking book and it doesn't make any sense? What's that about? That one's easy. I don't like when they don't make sense. I'm throwing this one in. My last one is so negative. <laughs> but I'm throwing this one in before the last one. Misprints, mistyped words, misspellings, words fully left out. Weird things going on where like the editor obviously rushed i hate that that's another thing with book talk and quantity over quality there have been a lot of mistyping in books and it's just like i can't even type the wrong thing well i can't even misspell on my like journalism papers for college but you can go and publish this book for money and misspell stuff right x um last thing last thing I don't like about books are books that are stupid I don't like when books are stupid I don't like when books are dumb I don't like when I waste my time I don't like stupid books cause like what do you mean like Lolita I don't like books that are stupid I don't like stories that don't need to be written um because I want that lump sum of cash for that dumb idea granted it wasn't my idea but still, like, what the hell? Slide some sugar. Anyway, that was like 30 icks that I have with books. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe next week I'll do a book about things that I love about books that you guys are like. I mean a video, not a book. Did I say a book? I don't know. Maybe next week I'll do a video about things that I love about books. You don't think that I'm this negative Nancy, even though I am. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me here, like the videos, give me a comment, um, follow me on Goodreads, I will follow everybody back, um, I always do, and if you have any recommendations, 
give me one. <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, comment a thumbs down emoji, thumbs down emoji, or the red X emoji. To spread that negativity into the comment section. Um, I love you all dearly. <laughs> Sorry about the anger on today's video and the amount of curse words. That is going to be my bad. I will apologize for that. Um, but I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye.